Unknown to many, Gandhi spent almost 35 years experimenting and working with nutritionists. He published several books for a balanced diet that gave maximum nutrition at minimum cost for the nation. Ahead of his time, what he proclaimed 60 years ago is now promoted as the ideal diet. Mahatma Thali and Claire's Kitchen is the first incarnation of an art project rooted in Gandhi's politicized passion for food, to be adapted to cultures and cuisines all around the world. It is a multi-sensory, artistic, political and culinary event. It is an ongoing collaborative exploration of his vision and a commentary on today's food that most often fills but that does not feed. Gandhi understood that the sustainability of his vision for India was fundamentally connected to people's eating habits. Promoting restraint and non-violence through food, Gandhi also had a strategic vision for India. A balanced diet makes for a healthy people and sustainable agriculture. A healthy people and sustainable agriculture makes for a great country and steady growth. He was meticulous about giving the reasons about each ingredients that included goat's milk, wheat, rice, dry cereals, seasonal raw fruits, seasonal raw vegetables, jaggery, pulses, and pure ghee. For me, the ingredients and diets promoted provide important insights into how we need to deal with obesity and the scourge of food that fills you but does not feed you. For many families today, this food that fills is more affordable than food that feeds. And it means that more people are obese today than before. And whereas people may be eating more in the West, they are less nourished. We need to take a step back and reset the driver of our food industry, from one that is profit-focused to one that is sustainability-focused. To me, this is the insight Gandhi brings. Yes, um, Manali approached us um, and asked us if we would like to um, collaborate with her on this idea that she had for putting, bringing public attention to Gandhi's um, nutrition, ideas on nutrition. And it sounded like a very interesting idea. She then came back to us a month or so later with the ideal ingredients and we sat down around a table the chefs and herself um, so she gave us really a very free reign the template with, with the ingredients and we could then go away and interpret put together a menu and interpret them in a way that we wish to I think it has changed some of our ways of thinking. We are quite an adventurous kitchen. We like to try new things all the time, um, come up with new ideas to give customers a new experience. So we've got that sort of spirit anyway, but no one's actually come to us with such um, a specific idea, I suppose. It's made us really sort of focus on what what is being asked for. We've been given a brief by somebody else. In that way, it's a very different experience and it's been incredibly rewarding because um, it feels like the start of something for us. It's, it's enabled us to think of the man, Gandhi, who, who he was, what he stood for, what he believed in. For us, it's a f the first time we are seating people in this way and giving them this special tali, so it's a very special occasion for us.
The Mat Mathali and Claire's Kitchen is a collaboration with Ganpati South Indian Kitchen. The Mat Mathali is served Indian style where guests are seated barefoot on the floor, eat with their hands and enjoy 12 creative dishes prepared by the kitchen. An art happening based on Gandhi's vision transferred specifically to the immediate environment and culture. Typical Indian kitchen utensils like plates, bowls, tiffins are transformed into art objects accompanied by an installation that involves sound from an ordinary Indian village kitchen. Here we share Gandhi's vision in a meal together. I knew that I was going to enjoy a different um, way of consuming food. It immediately felt, I knew it was a, an art installation and I wanted to come with an open mind and I felt that this was going to be a kind of sculptural experience as I came in. So um, I also enjoyed it purely on the simple level of knowing that we're going to experience quality. So for me it was a sense of, of being part of this art installation, if you like, but with a sense of comfort and knowledge because of my personal background in history. And I began to talk to strangers, I didn't know anyone here, and each person had something else to say about why they were here and what the background was, which in itself created its own um, sort of hype, if you like, and expectation of what was coming next. When the food was served, it, it was served with such humility um, that I wanted to savour it and, um, and take my time to enjoy the different flavours. It did feel very simple food that I can remember having as a child, and that was really a wonderful connection for me personally. <laughs> the politics of it are also something that really, really interests me and increasingly something, you know, that we can all read about, whether it's books or just in The Economist or snippets on the news. Um, all the stuff about obesity in this country, uh, you know, so it is a really seriously political issue and I'm interested in the way that it's, it was tackled then and, then and that it is still possible to maybe tackle it now. I, I thought it was a really fascinating project. I'm quite interested in projects, art projects involving food and this one involving Gandhi really fascinated me. I hadn't thought about Gandhi and his ideas for a long time and wasn't really aware or fully conscious of his important ideas around food. So to be taken back and to look at a more simplistic approach to food, the simple approach is the tasty approach. I thought the food was absolutely wonderful all the different tastes and the balance in the diet. Fabulous. I think the fundamental thing for me about this evening is that I had a genuine sense of curiosity about what it would be. I didn't know what it would be, which I'm someone who's lucky enough to see quite a few um, art pieces and performances um, and so the idea of coming to something where you feel that you're just giving yourself up to a journey that someone else is curating I found quite exciting and then to come to a much loved restaurant like this it was already giving signals of sort of caring for the participants on a, on a very personal level. I think the whole idea of people sitting down together in a very calm and cared for way goes right to the kind of soul of 
what humans, how humans enjoy being together. So I very much appreciated that. And then when on top of that, the food is absolutely delicious. Fabulous. What, what more could you ask for?